hey what's up guys today in this video i'm going to talk about a small little trick which will help you a lot in creating laravel projects or running any composer command especially when you don't have composer installed on your machine so the idea is that in an ideal situation if you're completely dependent on docker you would be able to create the laravel pack uh, folder or the laravel project apart from just installing composer packages using the docker container so you create a container you run the composer command and then you delete it that is the ideal scenario and if you want to use something like that or if you want to see how that is done this video i'm going to show you about that so i have this command over here if you see what we are doing is we are using the docker command we are saying docker run and this rm is going to tell docker then when the work is done it can remove the container so that it doesn't lie around okay i is interactive and t i'm not very sure but then the v is verbose okay then what we are doing is we are mounting sorry uh, the v is not verbose but rather this is the volume so we are mounting the volume our current directory that's pwd if you at any point do pwd on your console you will see which is your current directory right so we are doing that we are mapping it to the app directory of the container so whatever is happening inside the app directory will get synced to our current directory then we are running composer create project laravel slash laravel laravel clean code that's pretty standard stuff i'm sure you would have executed this command or laravel new in your terminal to create new projects so let's see this in action we'll try to run this on our own so that we understand what is happening and we can even um how do you say that divide the command into different lines so that it is easier to read so for example docker run remove the container dash i dash t and then dash v okay we define the volume so dollar pwd colon a okay next thing i am doing this backslash this backslash will tell the console that a new uh, a command is going to be added in the next line so it shouldn't execute it okay so you can see this greater than sign is coming up the next line what we do is composer create project laravel slash laravel then we do one more backslash laravel clean code now if i hit enter you will see the magic so it is creating that project it is installing laravel and then it will start with all the dependencies let it let us give it some time anyways this is composer 2 so it's pretty fast right it has downloaded almost everything from archive which means it's cache it hasn't downloaded anything new from the packages repository because you know we had everything and yes finally if i do ls you will see we have this laravel clean code so the folder is created that's nice which means if i don't have composer on my machine i can still create a doc a new laravel installation but then there is one small problem which you may run into i'm not sure if this, if this will be the same when working with uh, <coughs> sorry when working with windows or mac but at least i saw this happen on my linux instance which is if you see this permission right so what has happened is when we executed the command inside our container which was running composer that container was running as root and so the same permissions came to the main folder as well which means now if i try to do something like this damn it is not going to work so the only thing that i would suggest you do is sudo chow you change the owner my 
username is Amitav Roy. So you can do something like this, or you can even leave it like this. This basically means the colon, the right hand side of the colon is also the same. And you give this, you change the ownership. And now if you see LSAL, we have the permission like this, right? And now I can hit the remove. I, I mean, I can um, give the RM command if I want to, and this will allow it to be deleted. So yeah, that's, that's about it. This is what I wanted to show you, a small tip on how to install a new Laravel project or even run any Composer command using the Docker container or Docker image of Composer. So which means you don't need anything on your machine to work on a PHP environment. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and yes, keep watching for more such tips.